Why? Why does it hurt so damn much when you step on a brick of Lego? Also, why is my son able to walk through this minefield without any problems? Why doesn't it hurt when you lay down on a bed of nails? And also, if you fall down and you have the option of being pummeled by elephants or the cost of sex in the city, which one should you choose? This all comes down to pressure. Pressure is the force applied to an object per unit area. Pressure is measured in Pascal, where 1 Pascal is equal to 1 Newton per 1 square meter. 1 Newton is equal to 1 kilo times the acceleration in meters per square second. The acceleration on Earth, due to the pull of gravity, is roughly 9.8 meter per square second. I weigh about 90 kilo, so when I'm standing still, the force I'm exerting on the ground is 90 times 9.8 is 882 Newton. But when I step on a Lego, I'm not standing still, I'm moving my feet actively towards the ground. And walking can easily double the acceleration, even up to 10 times if you're running. Let's say we double the acceleration, and this will make my force 1800 Newton. The reason it hurts like hell is that all this force is applied to a very small area. A 2x2 Lego brick has an area of 2.5 cm squared. And this is the best case scenario, if we hit it dead on and ignore the 4 small knobs. Now we can calculate the pressure if we divide the force by the area. This comes down to 7.2 million pascal or 7.2 megapascal. Did you know that the biting force of a human being is about 1.1 megapascal? So it's 7 times a human bite when you step on a brick of Lego. Ah! Now let's look at my son and say he's 10 kilograms. If we divide the force by the area again, it comes down to just 07 megapascal, 9 times less than the pressure I'm feeling on my feet. So how does a bed of nails work and why doesn't it hurt when you lay down on it? It turns out the area of a nail is pretty small, it's just 0.05 cm squared. But let's say we have 2000 nails, that makes the area 100 square centimeters. If I lay down very carefully, we end up with 88,000 Pascal, just 0.08 megapascal. And doesn't hurt. So, back to the elephant and a high heel. The average elephant is around 7,000 kilos. The advantage is that it always has two or more feet on the ground. So, in the worst case, it has one feet on the ground and one feet on you. We can divide the weight by two, making it 3,500 kilos. If we multiply this by the pool of gravity, we get 34,300 newtons. The area of an elephant's foot is about 250 square centimeters. So now we can divide the force by the area and we get a result of 1.3 megapascal. So it hurts around the same as a human bite. Now onto the high heel. The weight of an average woman is about 65 kilos. 10 more if you live in the USA is 637 Newton. But the problem is this very small area of the stiletto heel. It's 0.4 square centimeters. So if we divide the force by the area, we end up with a whopping 15.9 megapascal, which is 15 times as much as the elephant. What the fuck? And now you know. <laughs>